texts from people saying, like, you need to watch Lord of the Rings. I'm like, I probably do, but I want to play video games. You know what I'm saying? That's not anime. That's not anime. Yeah, exactly. All right, guys, lose the semifinals here, folks. We have t so this is going to be two out of three. So this is the bit. So this is you know game one, a lot bigger than you think. Um, so, PK Chris and Mr. Mojo Rising, these two play quite often. Um, Mojo, uh, Mojo and Chris, they trade wins off each other. So this can go either way. There is nothing, there is no like concrete winner. There is no upset, it, no matter who wins here, in my opinion. Based on matchups, though, I do think this is in Ness's favor. It is. I already feel uh, it. And, uh, and yeah, that's a start right there. Um, normally here, Mojo usually tries to go with a DK, and then and then it doesn't work, and then he picks a character with a sword. <laughs> so I think if um, the lead becomes too great for Mojo to deal with, he might pull out the cloud. Yeah. We shall see. Whichever happens first, great parry gets the down tilt, and okay, so he's definitely trying to build like just climb this mountain, make sure he can get that lead. But Chris, letting his pressure, uh, letting uh, just not letting up on the pressure. Yeah, he's more than lab mojo in percent. He gets the dash attack and not getting contested off stage as much as um, I'd be like, is this it? No. Oh. Great patience from Mojo trying to get, get that uh, back air, try to get the uh, air dodge, but nothing after Doesn't that. Doesn't read the direction, unfortunately. Oh, what the? Ooh, eating a PK fire for that. Dash attack the ledge. Trying to near him. PK flash. Great. Do Tries to croc rock that, but doesn't work with Ness as a. As a Actually, no, he just failed. He did nothing. My mistake. <laughs> <laughs> but well, he tried getting a punish from Tech. That's what I'm trying to say. And okay. Chris trying to paint a picture, telling him where he's going to go. And uh, Mojo managed to dodge the up air. And oh! oh! Oh, I know what he's trying to do. Beautiful trade. Beautiful yeah. trade. Because like, he was already at such a percent. Getting hit by, uh, by, by Ness. Ness shortens it. So All right. very good uh, awareness by Mojo to get that spike. Just to sacrifice himself there. Sacrifice that stock, but PK Chris <laughs> not letting up. And dash attack again. Oh, he, he wanted it. He wants it. He wants to put an exclamation point on this on this game one. Ooh, I think he was trying to read a high uh, air dodge into ledge. Ooh, what are you a, doing, oh. my man? I actually thought that was going to spike. I wonder why it didn't. Because PK Thunder 2 is the best move in the game. Oh, gets the DI mix up. I got mixed up there. Tries Ooh, to good high recovery, I guess, to avoid the yo-yo. Oh, oh that's not it. Side that's B? not it. No. Uh, okay. Yeah. If it was a little closer to the ledge, maybe because that move did get buffed. Oh. Okay. GameStop trade to take that first first game there. Oh my gosh, he was in. Like I like. Okay. Definitely can't take take away what PK Chris was trying to do and trying to PK flash to stall and make sure, but Mojo just read right through that and just back aired him. PK Chris, I think, managed to try and swing at the last second to keep Mojo away from him, but unfortunately those moves traded, and if you're in the blast zone, you're yeah. welcome to game two, <laughs> is what I'm saying. Back to PS2. Um, Mojo sticking with the DK. Um, yeah, I don't blame him, because although, you know, he kind of did just, not lucky, but he got very clutch with how he uh, ascertained the victory. Yeah. Um, you know, uh, I guess, you know, he figured he can do it again because Nets can be exploitable off stage. But um, I can see, I could have seen Mojo switching to Cloud considering how close the game was and how, like, not, I don't want to say lucky, but, like, it was very lucky that he got the clutch kill. He got he those clutch kills with the with the PK Thunder 2 uh, bait. Yeah, jumping into that, just an invitation to get back aired there. Pretty much. Um, so. And that back air in the blast zone. So that's definitely something, uh, you know, you know, I understand seeing Mojo pick it up. Along with that, you know, the momentum is heavily in his favor despite him playing from a deficit here. Um, and, of course, PK Chris, another, like, emotional player. When he gets tilted, like, it starts affecting his play. But right now, it's not it's not affecting him that much. You see him, you know, doing, like, the the uh, like the emotive, like, uh, the emotive, like, things in the camera. But, yeah, that Ding Dong's going to take it here, trying to p point in the right direction where he's going to go. But Mojo Mojo has a horrible sense of direction. He's not looking. <laughs> <laughs> he isn't. He's just... He's, oh. How many up airs oh, was what, that? How many? I, I think it was seven. Seven up, baby. Seven, seven, seven up. up. Yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. Ooh. Oh. Mm. Is he literally... Did oh, he literally my... just take that stock from up air and the grab? I, I, I'm so confused right now. What? How in the... 
Okay. All right, all right, all right Mr. Mojo Rising. Smash 4 Cloud, hello? Uh, yeah. Whoa, big donkey punch, but big punch. Big punch. Oh, good oh, down no, there to catch no. that. And Chris off stage again. What is he going to do? Air dodge, doesn't get caught with the dash attack. What in the world? Nair out of shield puts Mojo in a precarious situation. Oh, Ooh. oh, big clap, but no. Oh. <laughs> oh, he armored only like a first Three couple Three of those hits, yeah. Mojo right. without a jump. It's okay. oh. oh, he swung too early. He did. I actually thought that was hitting, honestly. Same. He's a big boy. Oh, oh uh, yeah, no. Getting a little too greedy for that. Um, but Mojo in a pretty comfortable position. Right. Until he gets comboed. No, no not yet. 7% on PK Chris. Um, I like the dash attack at the ledge. Good patience by Mojo holding shield, seeing PK Chris Nera shield uh, instead of repeating the last situation that, that uh, lost stage control. Uh oh. Mojo at Jared percent right now, <laughs> and he's off of Jared percent. So he's at, I think he's out of ding dong percentage, but you know, you know what he can do? Just straight up. He can just straight up hit him, but we do need to talk about how um, clutch Chris has been get has been closing this gap. This has been a clutch like bracket for so many different players, actually. Like, oh, to do all that work only to fall to an ST. Chris, I'm you sorry if you watch this. I'm sorry if you watch this, Bod man. That was 100% my fault. <laughs> I, I said something, and that's what caused you to lose. You hate to see stuff you like hate, that. Yeah. You hate to see a player play their heart out to try and come back and from a deficit, and then and then unfortunately SD off of that. Like that is unfortunate to say the very least. Sorry, we're. I have to text my ride telling him uh, when we're leaving. Because we have a long drive and we have to help set up tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Are you guys get setting up at the venue tonight for Orion? Tomorrow. We are waking up at the at like the butt crack of Gamer Dawn, so 8 o'clock for us. We're picking up one of our friends, getting some bagels, because, you know, we're from Long Island. Yo, I want some bagels right now. I want some bagels and locks right now, man. Like, locks. I love locks. Like, get a nice coffee, you know, relax a little bit. How early are you waking up? Because I might just come after or work. <laughs> <laughs> um, eight o'clock, oh, nine o'clock. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I thought You're you meant like no. butt crack at dawn, like five, six. No, no, <laughs> no. We're going to we're, you know it's an hour drive for us. We uh, the original plan is to leave at like eleven. We get home at like twelve, twelve thirty. Bar an accident or whatever, and we try. And I force myself to sleep, whether it be taking a. Uh, Night 